mouth chisel here. Um, right. I've got four juices from these guys, who's El Diablo. Um, they were they opened I think just before Christmas, and I didn't realise they'd opened. Um, speaking to the owner of Victoria, who's a lovely lady, um, and she decided she wanted me to review some of her juices. So I've got what at the moment is the whole El Diablo range. So one is Bezel Bub, next one is Passion Bomb. One is Lime Cream Cupcake, and one is Sweet Voodoo. Um, now, as you'll know, I don't really... I, I never read a description before I do a review. Because um, that, that, to me, is the way to do it. So, Right, so we're going to start off with Beezlebub. I'm using Dripper and a Smock M80+. Plus. So, we should get pretty accurate flavour readings. Uh, I'm going to start on Beezlebub. All of these juices I believe are 50-50. All of mine are at 6 milligrams. Um, I will say that that is just what I think. I haven't actually looked. <laughs> so um, yeah. Beezlebub. Beezle bub to me tastes like apple and blackcurrant with a slight, slight hint of possibly a bit of menthol, but I might be wrong. I'm going to change my mind on the PGVG ratio as well. I think it might be 60 40. Um, Beezle bub to me tastes like apple blackcurrant with a tiny, maybe, hint of menthol. Um, I say that, but blackcurrant can often give me the, the the sort of taste you get off a of menthol anyway. I often get that from a blackcurrant flavoured juice. Um, but this is definitely apple and blackcurrant. I failed to get any other sort of flavours from it. Um, just apple and blackcurrant. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other flavours in it because obviously I don't read the descriptions but that is the two flavours I get. The juice itself nice consistency, nice easy to drip, it's not too thick, it's not too thin um, and it tastes clean, it doesn't taste um, kitchen sinkish if you get what I mean, it tastes very clean, it tastes proper. Um, the branding also is very nice. Um, you'll see it on the back here, which is my new setup. Um, you'll see it on there. I'll also do a picture as the thumbnail of the video, which is something I don't usually do, but it's something I'm going to start doing. So you'll see the branding, you'll see everything on there. Um, bottles wise, we have warning labels in place on the top. Um, we have all of the various no under 18s and toxic symbol which I always like to see and in big bold letters it says contains nicotine which I also like to see um, Beezle Bub is apple and blackcurrant so we're gonna burn this off and then we're gonna move on we're gonna move on to Passion Bomb same ratio as I believe and it's definitely still 6 milligrams Passion Bomb. Now, Passion Bomb, um, as the name might suggest, is a passion fruit flavour, I believe. Um, I do also get, like, maybe a hint of like grapefruit or, or some sort of citrus. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of um, citrusy thing going on. I don't know if that's to do with the passion fruit or not, but I know that I can definitely, definitely taste it.
yeah, there's definitely that citrusy, citrusy note. Um, the passion fruit flavouring they've used is a really juicy passion fruit flavour. Um, a, a really good juicy flavour. Um, now you'll hear me say the word juicy. Um, when I say a flavour is juicy, I mean that it tastes of the fruit, not of a candied version or any other version of the fruit. It tastes of passion fruit. And they've hit the sweetness on the head as well. Um, a lot of the time you'll get a fruit juice and they go over the top of the sweetness. Um, but with this it's, it's spot on, it's exactly where it needs to be. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I had a brain fart, what was I going to say? Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely passion fruit and definitely um, a hint of citrus, but again, that could just be my brain fuck with me and it's not really there but this is why I do it off the cuff this is why I will like always do it so I don't know what's in them because if I taste it wrong you can then go look at the description and see that I'm a complete retard so this is what I like to do I like to tell you what I taste before I read a description because once stuff sometimes once you read a description your brain will tell you it's tasting what you've read um, Whereas if you don't read the description, you can only tell you, you can only you can only tell people what you taste. That's why I like to do it the way I like to do it. Um, obviously, everyone's everyone's taste is different. Sometimes my taste is way off, but most of the time, I think I can be confident enough to say most of the time it is good. Yeah, passion fruit citrus. Alright, I'm just going to dry burn this off. There we go. We're going to move on to lime cream cupcake. Um, obviously, I can take a lot from that name. I know there's going to be lime involved. I know there's going to be cream involved. So, let's see how we get on. I'm going to put the flipping bottle cap on the top of my dripper. Anyway, let's see. So this one is called Lime Cream Cupcake. It's good, it's good lime. All of these juices produce pretty well. Um, bear in mind I am using a wide, o a wide open dripper and I am currently set at 50 watts. Um, the lime is good. The lime is very sharp. And then just on just on the exhale, just as you think, wow, this is sharp, that cream cut will cut straight through it. Um, I'm not getting much cake. I'm not getting a lot of cake. Um, it's there, it's, there's a hint of it, but it's not as prominent as the name might suggest. It's more of a, a like a, if you was to have a lime cream cupcake and you took the cake and it was a tiny cake and you put lots of topping on. That's, that's the sort of flavor I'm getting. And I, it, Another one of my hobbies is baking, so I know cake, I know what cake should taste like. So um, I can base that one on a lot of fact that I know from my life, that there isn't a lot of cake. Um, I'd like a bit more cakey flavour, if I'm honest. Yeah, but the lime and the cream is good. The lime and the cream is decent. Um, as I said, the lime's nice and sharp and sweet, and that cream just cuts straight through. It's a very good juice. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on to the final one. The final one is Sweet Voodoo. Now, this is the juice that 
put El Diablo on my radar, on my radar basically. Um, this is the juice I heard about, let's say. This is the one um, I was told I had to try. If there was one of this line that I had to try, it had to be Sweet Voodoo. So, I'm expecting, well, I know it's great already, but, um, yeah. So, Sweet Voodoo. Now, Sweet Voodoo, to my mind, is... Somewhere in between, do you remember the little Campino sweets you used to get? They were little, like little, little swirly sweets that were strawberry and cream flavour. It's somewhere between one of those and a strawberry milkshake. The strawberry is a nice, sweet strawberry and the cream is prominent, it's, it is a good cream flavour. This one, over the others, it, it gives that nice, dense, creamy vapour. Um, a lot of the cream flavours are found. will give you this creamy density um, that just makes the juice that much more enjoyable. It's like a chewy, like you could almost chew it. very very good the strawberry itself um, it's hard to put where it is because normally I'd say well it tastes like a sweet or it tastes like the fruit it's hard to place that one where it is because it is sweet but it also tastes like the fruit um, if you get what I mean it's not too sweet it's not too juicy it's just in the middle it's just right um, all of these juices are available from these guys El Diablo Links will be in the description. Um, yeah, a fantastic juice line. There is only four flavours at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be expanding their flavours or whether they're just going to work on these four. And then those four will be like their flavours. Um, but if they do expand the range, it's going to be a good range. Um, the range is already decent at four. So if they have more flavours, they're going to be good flavours. Uh, uh, I can't guarantee that, but I, I sort of know that. Um, yeah, El Diablo Juices. I've been Dan for Shizzle. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.